We're here now at Jungbu Market, which is a Korean grocery store in the Avondale neighborhood of Chicago, around like Kedzie and Belmont. In addition to just being kind of a generally wonderful Korean grocery store and houseware store with all kinds of wonderful things you don't usually find in a general Western store, there's also a hot food restaurant called The Snack Corner in the back of Jungbu where they have delicious home-style Korean dishes and we're gonna go and we're gonna sample in some of that right now. Okay. 안녕 하세요. 예, 안녕 하세요. 순두부. 예. 육개장 주세요. 라볶이 주세요. One number four. Yeah. 순두부. That's good. It's because she's speaking in English. One number eight. 라볶이. Yes. And 육개장. Ah, uh, one number sixteen. 육개장. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I saw you guys, you were literally here just like 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago eating, and then you came back. Yes. We did. And what did you come back for? So we wanted to get uh, the kimbaps. Mm -hmm. What's that? It's the um, seaweed on the outside. There's rice and there's vegetables and usually like a meat on the inside. Like a sushi roll. Yes. Yep. Is what it looks like. Yes. It's a little bit different though. They have more vegetables and not much fish inside. One second. Our, our food is ready. We, 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 I've just, Mrs. Choi just yelled at us. Our food is ready. This is the yoke jang? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, and can you tell me while we're here? So this is the bean sprouts, yeah? Yeah, bean sprouts. This kimchi. This is the kimchi. Yeah, this is the seaweed. And this is the seaweed. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay. A veritable Korean feast awaits me at the snack corner. First of all, I'd just like to say that the Snack Corner is the most charming name and I would automatically want to eat at any place called the Snack Corner, but that's, that's a side plan. The first thing I've got right here is this lovely lapoki. Now what this is, is a fusion of two dishes of ramyun and tapoki. So this dish is kind of newish in the, on the Korean culinary pantheon but it's got the, this kind of ramen noodle. And then it's also got the tapoki, which, is, which are these uh, rice cakes. And then it's just in this spicy red chili fermented sauce. And it's got scallions, and it's got cabbage, and it's got onions. Mmm, it's not super spicy, but it's got, definitely got a kick from the red chili pepper. But there's also a nice sweetness to the sauce. But what I really like are these rice cakes. They're like obscenely thick rice noodles that have been cut to about this big. And it's got this wonderfully chewy texture. And it's just like a real pleasure to, to bite into, especially if you are a glutton for carbohydrates like I am. This is the yuke jang, which is a spicy beef stew. It's usually eaten with rice and with banchan. And banchan are Korean side dishes. So what we've got here is we've got some bean sprouts, we've got kimchi, and then we've got seaweed. It's got scallions, it's got onions. It's all simmered together for a long time in this really spicy, peppery broth. And then you've got the noodles here, which have a really nice kind of bite to them. So when I used to live in China, one thing I had to get used to was people didn't eat rice. And I would have to go to restaurants and I would have to ask for rice. And I don't know if it's like this in Korea because I've never been to Korea, but when you go into a Chinese restaurant, you'd be like, can I have some rice? They like look at you like, what's wrong with you? And if you order rice and you were like a guest at someone's banquet or someone's re someone was taking out for dinner, they would get offended. Because when you order rice, you're basically saying there's not enough food. There's not enough real food, so I need to fill up with rice. Tofu soup, sundubu. It's a stew made of what is known as uncurdled tofu, which is uh, sort of a fancy way of saying silken tofu. And it is put in a fiery hot chili pepper broth. Mm. It kind of tastes like the, the base is like a seafood broth. And then you get this marvelous silken tofu that like disappears in your mouth the moment that it hits your tongue. 
It's really satisfying to like slurp the little tofu bits because they go down so quick. Mrs. Troy, what is this? Sweet potato. Ah, sweet potato, sweet potato root yeah, yeah, yeah. that comes down, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Oh, okay. So here on the banchan, we have uh, the usual suspects. We have the the bean sprouts, the kimchi, and then this is, interestingly, the root of the sweet potato, which I think is super cool. It's earthy, it's kind of like nutty, but it's really good. So the thing about ramen is the rest of the world, especially Asian countries, are completely fanatical about ramen, and there's thousands of different types many of which never reach the United States because we think of ramen as being a one of two flavors, chicken and beef. But the fact is there are so many different kinds. There's shrimp flavor, there's sesame flavor, there's spicy kimchi flavor, there's tempura, there's egg, we have chapaghetti, whatever that is. We have jajangmyeon flavor, and we have here at the end, uh, Unfortunately, anchovy flavor. So they actually have a dumpling stand outside. I think maybe to sort of cap this all off, I'm gonna go get a couple of dumplings. Hi. Hi. Can I ha can I have a, a pork dumpling, please, and a black bean dumpling? Thank you very much. This is the pork, and this is the black bean. Black bean. Thank pork. you very much. Okay. Thank you. The owner of this establishment, Jungbu, has like a slight obsession with dumplings, weirdly enough. And so he personally like oversaw the development of the recipe with these mandu. It, it's actually kind of exciting. It makes me really interested to try this. So this mandu has pork filling, about the size of a Cadillac. Nice and hot and savory and Filling. The vegetables taste fresh. So this black bean guy here, this I believe is filled with red bean paste, red bean, and the outside is is made of it's a black rice bun. And it actually kind of smells like it kind of smells like milky, kind of smells like a sweet pastry, mm, soft, milky, sugary. It has like a grainy rice flavor to it, and then you've got this red bean filling, which is really sweet inside. So this is kind of like a dessert dumpling. I can't possibly eat anymore. I've stuffed myself with Korean food inside. I have perhaps unwisely decided to eat two giant dumplings right now. I'm gonna go home and sleep this off. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime here at Jungbu Market. And if you'd like to see more, please click here to watch.